it is so sunny in here. I don't know if you guys can really tell because I always have the light, you know, right here. But, like, it is, it's really sunny in this room right now. It's a beautiful afternoon. Welcome on back to the channel, everyone. I hope that you're doing well. I hope that you're feeling good. Let's go ahead and listen to one of your requests here. We're going to listen to uh, Richard Thompson. Uh, we're going to listen to this track off of his 1991 album, Rumor and Sigh, entitled 1952 Vincent Black Lightning. I've never heard of Mr. Thompson. I've never heard this song, as far as I know. And uh, this particular track was suggested to me by Deloren Giad, LBDPO7CL, <laughs> Simon Speak, Fatty Pneumonia, which is kind of a funny name, Huge, Huge, like I think Eugene maybe is your name, uh, Snufkinson, uh, Richard Ashton, hold on, Sarah's in Texas, hold on, hold on. That may be it. I think there's more, but hold on. Rube's Gold, Brain Coffee, it goes on from there. Anyways, thank you guys for the suggestion. Like I said, I've never heard of Mr. Thompson, but we're about to hear him today. So let's go ahead and listen. let the song play. We'll talk about it after. Let me pull it up here, which I didn't do. There it is. Let's go. Feel special on any such like Says James to Red Molly My hat's off to you It's a Vincent Black Lightning 1952s And I've seen you at the corners and cafes it seems Red hair and black leather My favourite colour scheme Great line <laughs> And he pulled her on behind and down to Box Hill They didn't ride I love the picking in there Nice Versus James to Red Molly Is a ring for your right hand But I tell you an honest I'm a dangerous man For I fought with the Lord since I was 17 I robbed many a man to get my Vincent machine He's a bad boy Now I'm 21 years, I might make 22 And I don't mind dying but for the love of you And if fate should break my stride Then I'll give you my Vincent to ride It's a sweet possible inheritance Already written her in his will. Puts those little licks in there. That is really, really nice. Come down, come down, a red molly called Sergeant McRae. For the taking a young James A.D. for armed robbery. Shotgun blast hit his chest, left nothing inside. Oh, come down, Red Molly, to his dying bedside. When she came to the hospital, there wasn't much left. He was running out of a road, he was running out of breath. But I smiled to see her cry. I said, I'll give you my Vincent to ride. This is a good story. Says James, in my opinion, there's nothing in this world Beats a 52 Vincent and a red-headed girl Now mountains and Indians and grievances won't do Ah, they don't have a soul like a Vincent 52 
Oh, he reached for a hand and he slipped her the keys. Said, I've got no further use for these. I see angels and aerials in leather and chrome swooping down from a hill and they're carrying me home. And he gave her one last kiss and died. And he gave her his Vincent. Man, what a fantastic track and a really great piece of storytelling in there. I love a good story. I love when it's linear. You just start from the beginning, from, from the first moments of their eventual relationship into, of course, the last moments. And I love how we get to follow them along. And like, I mean, there's a lot packed in four verses. Like it's a quick, you know, story, but you can kind of fill in the blanks. And I think the music allows you to fill in blanks in a sense like lyrically like narratively i guess i should say because you know you get quick events you know they're meeting uh basically in the proposal you know marriage and then the sergeant hey we got him and then of course the ending the death but you can kind of fill in those little those little moments that they have in the relationship between that i think that's really fantastic now i'm just assuming that richard thompson is not only singing but also uh playing the guitar in this track of which there is no one else or nothing else i should say accompanying it so i'm, I'm gonna go with that assumption and not only does it just play and sound incredible, the guitar playing, I think, I'm not a guitarist, but I think it sounds really nice, especially because of how many of these little creative fills and, and um, uh, what's the word I want to use? Um, not fills, but like you would describe fills, but for guitar, little licks. Okay, that's the word I want to use. The little licks that he throws in. I don't know what's going on, but it sounds like at certain moments he goes like, D -d 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 like he just kind of machine guns his oh, shotguns, his fingers like across the strings there. And just as these really quick, but so melodically nice fills in there. And then even though the song is repetitive in structure and repetitive in nature, um, it, it, there's still enough interesting guitar stuff in there besides the story, which already keeps your attention. But musically, there's enough interesting guitar playing and technique in there, I think, that keeps it interesting keeps it fun to listen to and and interesting as you move forward and i would even say that the the guitar licks and the differences in the guitar playing as we move forward in the story probably are a little bit foreboding and foretelling of the next verses coming forward as we kind of follow the life of the couple in the life of the guitar but that's just an assumption because honestly i would have to listen to it again to kind of catch that uh, as i can't say that i did on my first listen, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, the lyrics are actually pretty straightforward, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on them. Uh, o says Red Molly to James, that's a fine motorbike. A girl could feel special on any such like, says James to Red Molly. My hat's off to you, it's a Vincent Black Lightning, 1952. He says he's seen her around, love to take her on a ride, and by the next verse, he's about to make her his bride. And they said I couldn't be a rapper. Uh, so their life is going quite swell in the first few verses, but then in verse three, come down, come down, Red Molly's called Sergeant McRae. For they've taken young James Addy for armed robbery. Shotgun blast hit his chest and left nothing inside. Come down, Red Molly, to his dying bedside. So she goes to the hospital, and in the ending, verse four, says James, in my opinion, there's nothing in this world beats a 52 Vincent and a red-headed girl. Now Norton sent Indians and green sieves won't do, I don't know what those are. Uh, I'll, but they don't have a soul, but a Vincent, like a Vincent 52. And then he slips her the keys. And I love this line here where he says, I've got no further use for these. I see angels on aerials and leather and chrome swooping down from heaven to carry me home. I really like that line there, not only because of the obvious, like, yes, he's dying. And, you know, on the verge of dying, he's seeing, uh, rather literally or metaphorically, it doesn't really matter. He's seeing the angels coming down in chrome and in leather jackets. They're going to take him home. But I like that line besides that point, but because of the comfort that must give Red Molly. Right? Like, think of, like, obviously he's dying, but think of how comforting it is for Molly to hear that and what will eventually be her grievances and what will eventually be needed to console her. In his last moments, not only was he conscious, able to share a last kiss and and give the keys to her and everything and to share that last moment but in his last moments he told her 
Don't worry about me. I'm seeing the angels coming down. I'm good. I think that like that would be really comforting to hear in that particular moment. I think that's a that's kind of an underrated line to be honest. A really really good track. Um, just looking at some of the information here on this specific song, it says despite not being issued as a single, it became a, became a fan favorite and is one of Thompson's most highly acclaimed solo compositions. Uh, it says the band Red Molly, oh, I guess I guess there's a band Red Molly as well, who covered the song takes its name from the lead female character. I, I would have never guessed. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyways, really, really great track. Phenomenal stuff on this one. Thank you guys so, so much for the suggestion. Let me know what you guys thought, though, however, in the comments down below. You can follow me over on Twitter, support the channel on Patreon. Thank you, as always, for being here, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.